Hello YouTubes, what is up? Welcome back to another video. It is your boy Strem here and we have a little bit different uh, type of video today. I just wanted to do a quick video covering the IBA, um, the International Battle Association, which is our upcoming draft singles Pokemon League. Um, starts January 17th, the first battles uploaded will be around the 24th, 25th. Um, it's a league with seven other YouTubers, so eight other total couches coaches don't know why I said that so weird um, but our team entering is the Halifax Hitmonchan so I just wanted to do a little bit of a draft analysis type video um, go over who we picked nothing serious um, just to prep you guys uh, for the upcoming season so getting right into it uh, our first overall pick so there were 11 rounds total um, we did a snake draft so if you drafted first in the first round you ended up drafting uh, 11th, or sorry, 8th in the second round until we all picked 11 Pokemon. Uh, if you want to see a more in-depth video on the league and the rules, um, tiers, and bands and stuff like that, I will link to um, our commissioner's video uh, in the description. I'll list the other coaches as well um, so that you guys can all check them out before the league. They're all great battlers and great content creators as well, so I encourage you to check them out. But getting right into it, uh, here was our first round pick. Um, we went with Gyarados. Gyarados is a very strong format in the uh, Pokemon in the Galar decks. Uh, you know, he's fast, physical sweeper. They got the water type right off the bat with the flying stab. Um, you know, versatile attack pool. Just, just a very strong Pokemon. Uh, it's going to give me a lot of options. So it was an easy first pick. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to Dynamax him. The rules in the league were only allowed to Dynamax one Pokemon of our 11, and Gyarados Dynamax was on the banned list. So I'm allowed to have him, I'm just not allowed to Dynamax him, but he'll still be a very valuable member, obviously. Uh, for the second round pick, I went with the Galarian Corsola. Um, so you put the Eviolite item on this, it gets super, super bulky, um, both physically and specially. It's actually way bulkier than its evolution. So this is kind of annoying, like you truck moves like Strength Sap and Will-O-Wisp, Nightshade. Um, it becomes really difficult to deal with and you can cause a lot of problems. It also sets Stealth Rocks if you want it to. So again, a lot of versatility and just a great bulky Mon at our second pick. Uh, third pick, we went with Grimmsnarl. Obviously, Grimmsnarl is a really strong Gen 8 Pokemon. I wanted to use Gen 8 Pokemon um, as much as I could uh, where they fit. And I feel like Grimmsnarl, you know, he has a prankster ability, so you can be kind of annoying. He also can hit really hard as a physical attacker with Dark Stab and Fairy Stab. Um, he's got some unique moves, so um, he'll be great for this team as well. Uh, next up, round five. So we skipped round four. I'll come back to that. A little later, but in round five we drafted Raichu. Um, you know he's fast. We need an electric type. Um, he could be also versatile with things like Volt Switch, Nuzzle. Um, you know he's a strong special attacker with Thunderbolt and, and Stab Electric. I just love Raichu too, so I'm a little biased. I probably picked him a little high here to be honest, um, but he's going to be good for the squad. No, no question about that. Round six we got our second Stealth Rock user. Uh, Runarigus, who's also a ghost type, ground type. One of my favorite new Gen 8 Mons. I feel like, again, he's a really strong physical attacker. Um, always great to have a ground type on the team. So, you know, he's bulky. He's got a really high defense stat, physical defense stat. So you can give him body press. Um, there's a little bit of, you know, versatility there as well. I just feel like, um, I feel like I needed that second stealth setter. And I, I'm comfortable using that Pokemon as well. Round 7, we actually picked up Arcanine, which was awesome to see. Um, not a ton of great fire types in the Galar decks in Gen 8. Um, Arcanine, you know, he's bulky. Uh, again, a good physical attacker. Gets access to Will-O-Wisp and, and a lot of different moves, extreme speed, stuff like that. Um, so he's one of the best fire types in the, in the Galar decks, I really believe that. Aside from maybe like Cinderace and a few others. So to get him in round 7 was awesome. Uh, he'll no doubt be be a pillar for this team too. In round eight, I actually picked up Mr. Rhyme. Again, wanted to use Gen 8 Pokemon, and I feel like um, you know we didn't have a Psychic type at this point. We also didn't have an Ice type to deal with dragons. There were a lot of dragon Pokemon being picked up, so I feel like you know we have Grimmsnarl with the Fairy. But um, yeah, I looked up how to use him. He seems very interesting. I don't think a lot of people know how to play around Mr. Rhyme. Uh, you can run a few different types of sets. He's got some neat abilities. 
as well. So um, it'll be really fun to use. And then in round nine, we went to Garboder. So didn't have a poison type. Definitely wanted a poison type to deal with fairy, uh, bulky fairy types. Um, Garboder has a little bit of bulk. He's not crazy. Uh, but he also obviously runs toxic, toxic spikes, spikes, things like that. So again, versatility uh, and just type differential here was was why I went with the poison type this early. There were other poison types too, like I think Salazzle was still there. Um, but but I've never used a Garboder and he, he seems cool, so I wanted to definitely trim one up. Uh, in round 10, we went with the team mascot, Hitmonchan. I was worried I wasn't going to get him. I know my idea going into this was to pick him in round 11 because, you know, not a lot of people can test Hitmonchan. Uh, he's not really OU, but um, I like using Hitmonchan. I have him kind of decently bulky. He's, he, get at, he gets access to a kind of cool moves like Drain Punch, Bullet Punch, Mop Punch, like priority moves. He's also a Rapid Spinner to remove... Um, hazards from the enemy unit so so again versatile he's our only fighting type so stab fighting moves are good uh and he's got decent attack too so i'm, I'm happy using him and then finally our round 11 pick was whimsicott which is a grass fairy type i was super surprised i got this in round 11 we needed a grass type obviously on the team um and just to pair that with fairy is awesome as well um again pretty versatile it's fast it gets access to a pretty deep move pool um decent bulk surprisingly as well so uh definitely for a round 11 pick I, i'm pretty i'm really happy with whimsicott i'm interested i've never really used one but uh i feel like we can get a good set on it and, and do that well um next up so at the top here you'll notice i have a crown a very janky crown on the top of the box here this is our dynamax captain so the way the rules work um you're only allowed to dynamax one of your pokemon uh week after week we had to select that before the league began um or after the draft so our dynamax captain was actually picked in round four and it's excadrill um which i'm very 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 excited about he's one of the best pokemon to dynamax in this format uh you know the ground steel typing is awesome he's very strong physical attacker you can kind of run different items on him as well as different move sets he benefits greatly from like max steel spike which raises his defense max quake with the special defense and um you know even max fighting move to raise his attack he, he gets a lot of benefits from dynamaxing um so i'm very happy that extra drills are a captain and i feel like you know round four is when we got him which I feel like I really lucked out. I thought he was almost going to go round one. And, and even I kind of forgot about him going into round two and three. Um, so yeah, super happy with that. And this is our team. So like I said, the league starts next week, January 17th. We have a week to get our battles in and then upload start on the 24th of January. Um, my first round match is against Goki Gamer, who's another um, YouTuber. Again, his link will be in the description as well as everybody else in this league. I strongly encourage... Um, you guys check them all out. They're all awesome guys. And uh, this is really going to be fun. So you're playing eight weeks. Um, obviously, there's only seven other co coaches. So we'll play each coach individually for seven weeks. And then you'll go back and actually play your first round uh, matchup a second time before the playoffs. So, um, yeah. Playoffs are kind of uh, TBD. I won't get into that in this video. But... Wish us luck. Need your guys' support on this. Um, let me know in the comments like what you're thinking about the squad, who your favorite Mon is, and if you have any tips uh, for battling with these specific um, 11 Mons. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for, for next week, and love you guys. Peace.